Hi, everyone. This is George, and welcome back to a Kindred Spirit Conversation. So uh, some of you who've been watching this know that I've been having some catch-up conversations with some, some colleagues and friends I've known for a while, for, uh, for years usually, and catching up, um, finding out what each other's doing, and uh, learning, uh, learning from each other. Um, so Alice and I was just talking before we started recording, and uh, she was telling me about how she's made this shift um, from from offline uh, doing work offline with mastermind groups etc to online for the last few years and now she's making a focus again on offline and so I thought that was an interesting journey and I just thought Allison can you share can you share just for the sake of our recording here um, what yeah tell us about this journey yeah so I guess well I'd run a I'd run a training consultancy business for a few years when I think we first met and that was like the point where I was thinking there's got to be an easier way because I was you know five days a week training delivery and then preparing at weekends and traveling a lot so I thought there has to be an easier way passive income let's create an online course yes. and at that time thought it would be much easier <laughs> in terms of creation but also the learning all the online and just getting caught up in everything in online. It was just such a, such a massive learning curve. And don't get me wrong, I don't regret it for one minute. And it's definitely going to be part of, you know, my business going forward. Yeah. But I think I, I went from everything being offline to thinking everything had to be online and forgetting the bits that I loved in my offline world. Yeah. You know, in that, going out and speaking and, and running networking events and just going and meeting people and asking them how I could help them yeah. and realizing that actually there were, those were the things that I loved doing that helped my business offline succeed. And there's no reason why I can't still do those. Yes. But have some aspects of online as well for people who are, who, who, um, are not local and who I do, because I do love connecting with people online. I just don't like the technical side of things. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, and you, had, you had a team of people working for you. Yeah, you know? I had a team of five people in the end. And it was, it was costing a lot. It was costing literally, I can remember overnight shelving my cost by around $1,500, $2,000 overnight a mm. month. Wow. A month, monthly costs. And mm. of course, to cover that, I was you know, feeling like I was on this, this, this wheel trying to keep it all going to make it all worthwhile. Yeah. Um, and of course, as soon as I stopped that and feeling what I needed to do and focused on well what brings me joy what is it I love doing mm. and that's when I just it just became clear it was connecting with people and there's a way that we can bring it together we don't have to be in the two polars mm. if we don't want to be obviously some people like either one but it's also possible to come up with a mix and actually it can be a perfect mix I think going forward and so what would you advise people who um, want to connect more with with the offline world <laughs> <laughs> to me it's starting with the people that you know and looking at what you love yeah you know what do you enjoy doing yeah. um, look at what you like doing socially first mm -hmm. you know we don't need to try and become somebody we're not look at what you naturally feel you gravitate towards the type of people you gravitate towards yeah. start to build up connections there the other thing I always when I look around and this this might sound awful to people watching it but when I look around and I go oh there's not really any groups out there that I really that completely resonate and I just yeah. start my own I mean, I, that's, I've always done that. You know, 25 years ago, I set up a travel club. You know, it's it just, who would I love to get together? Yes. I invite them all for a cup or I invite them round to my house. And then something starts from there. Wow. And you know? are you, um, you're, you're in Scotland. I mean, are, are you sharing any of the stuff online in terms of getting more people to the offline group? How are you? How are you outreaching? Yeah, I mean, I do, I do have online, um, before I took this little sabbatical from my business that I've been through the last few months that I'm just coming out of now. Um, I, I mean, I run a Facebook group yes. so that people offline connect with me there. Um, the YouTube, I was doing vlogging. Um, and I had started doing things like live streaming, which will start to, you know, start doing again. Yes, so yes. there's definitely ways that I do even connect with my local audience online. Yeah. Um, but of course, I also do the online fundraisers, which I just love. I mean, the, my, what I love doing is raising money for charitable causes. Mm. I love connecting with my audience, and it's just a perfect way. Yes. 
perfect way to bring it together for me to get to know the people that are maybe following me, who, who are touch base with me online. Yeah. We connect through Zoom because I, I do them through Zoom yes. so we can see each other and then yeah. we meet up face to face. It's just lovely. Well, and one of your core areas of ex expertise when you're, you're going to be coming out with a book is give to profit or using yeah. um, kind of combine, kind of partnering with our passion for certain charities mm -hmm. and uh, having that benefit our business as well. And so yeah. doing that, you're kind of modeling that. So, so interesting that you mentioned online group that you're, are you still running the Facebook group that you, you created or? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm still running it. I, I mean, what's, I've, what's, I've what's the group called? Are, is, are people is that a public group or a? Is that yeah, a yeah. Group? It's called the Heart of Biz Hub. So it's heart, and then the word, then a b i z, all one word, Heart of Biz. Heart of Biz. So it's just the Heart of Biz Hub. Yeah. Um, it's a free Hub. public group that people can come in, and it's just chat, no self promotion. It's just yeah. conversation and chat. Cool. Well, I'll be sure to link that in the notes of the video. Oh, cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate hearing this transformation of yours because I think um, a lot of people, uh, I think, it's, well, as human beings, it's easy for us to look at what, what the, sort of the gurus are telling us, the, the sort of famous people are telling us, um, and looking around and everyone's kind of joining the bandwagon for certain, certain mm -hmm. strategies. Mm -hmm. And we feel like, well, gosh, that must mean that that's the right way of going. And it's like there, we cannot be reminded enough that it's okay to take a pause mm -hmm. and to come back to uh, asking questions of our inner self, to listen to that still small voice to say, okay, what is it that truly energizes me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is draining me? Mm -hmm. And why do I have these expectations that I must do this, I must do that? Can I let them go? Oh, yes. And see, it's so liberating when we can start to say no and let those go. Yeah. And I don't know about you, George, but I felt, I think I felt that in that world, I felt that I, there were, don't get me wrong, there, there's been lots that I've loved in the online world. And I've met a lot of wonderful, wonderful people. And, but starting again with something, it was almost as if I forgot all the other skills that I had. Mm. it was like I was the newbie and yes there were all these other people who were the experts and I'm and it's only been when I've stepped back I thought hang on one minute Alison you've got all these other skills as I'm sure everybody else watching this yes. will have we've yes. all got skills yes. we've all got so many skills but we measure ourselves upon what we think we should be doing yeah and some of what we should be and I think some of what we learn in the online world and it's not, it's, gosh, this isn't, it's not meant to sound disrespectful because there's a lot of incredibly talented people out there, but they're incredibly talented in their tiny little niche. Yes. And sometimes for those of us who are older, who have a whole range of other experiences, they don't talk about how they can bring them in, but it doesn't mean we can't. Right. And that we can't create our own success formula, our own way of making things work for us. Yeah. We can, we can learn from people, take the bits that seem to resonate with us, and create our own models of success. Right, beautiful, wow, that's, that's so true because um, a lot of what happens with online selling with these pro coaching programs, training mm -hmm. programs is they use, um, I mean, they, they use kind of scarcity-based marketing where it's like, you are not complete, your business is not complete, your mm -hmm. business is not going in the right direction unless you, you know, use my model unless you do exactly what I tell you to do. Um, this is the one way to get something mm -hmm. done. And I think that's what disconnects us from, oh, wow, well, such an authoritative person, yeah. right? With such an amazing looking website or, or, you know, look at all the testimonials they've gotten, which that's a whole other yes, <laughs> That's a whole other topic. The testimonials are often of like a tiny few minority percent who were with yeah. them. But uh, it's like, oh, look at all this flashy stuff, and then they must know how, to, how it works. And then, you know, you pursue them, and look, they're making all this money. And that's the other thing. That's the other thing that I, I, I um, have been uh, trying to remind people is that um, money isn't always made in the most virtuous ways. No. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 right. 
Yeah, definitely not. And definitely not in the online world. Oh my God, the things that people, I can, I can remember one particular point because with my last, you know, last online launch I had and I was saying to people, well, I'm not, I'm just not prepared to compromise my values. I'm just not going to do A, yeah. B and C. And I can remember posting that in two different groups, one that we're both a member of and I got a very positive response there. And I can remember posting it in the group whose training I'd been doing at that point in time and was attacked was attacked for what's well, just your beliefs. It's, and I was just, you're right, it's my beliefs, but they're not limiting. They're values. They're the ones that come from my heart. They're human, yeah. you know, they're human beliefs. And it's all about being compassionate and respectful yeah. to other people. Right. And having integrity, the yeah. basics. You know, you know? Um, that's so interesting that you, you had that reaction and such different yeah. reactions. It was I very feel, clear. I feel like the people who were attacking you or criticizing you were probably feeling um, confronted, mm -hmm. perhaps, mm -hmm. to, to look at them, their own beliefs and their own values and whether or not they're aligning with them in their actions. Yes, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was pushing <laughs> a few buttons. Um, yeah. it, was just, it was just fascinating, you know? Um, because all of us, you're right, George, all of us could, all of us could implement a lot of um, manipulative sales tactics and get sales. Yes. So that's uh, the thing. For, you know, I, for most of us, or I, most of us like you and I, yes, that's yes. not what business is about. Yes, no. we're in business to make money, however, but doing it in a way that, that, that feels right, that yes. is generous, and is more based upon the positive impact we have on people's lives. Yeah, and what you're coming back to again is to make money by really expressing your unique strengths. Yeah. Um, to remember your, 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 your joys and your unique strengths and to say, wait a second, let me use this, what I'm mm -hmm. already good at, what I can tell people really, really love what I do, and let me just use that. Let me find a way to use that and earn money from it. And then, you know, if I want to earn money in other ways, I can do it more gradually, um, bringing my unique strengths online, for example, and figuring out how to do it mm -hmm. virtuously mm -hmm. instead yeah. of using these, these formulas that we don't agree with. But anyway, thank you for, for sharing because I think that um, I think this will encourage people. So yeah, no, brilliant. Can I can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so in all of this, in all of this, what brings you joy? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I think I think right now what brings me joy is um, sharing with my audience. Um, my my honest thoughts about my about my journey and bringing them uh, the journeys of kindred spirits like you who uh, who can I mean I'm hoping that we're creating this ecosystem mm -hmm. of people who are uh, bringing more truly bring more wisdom into into business mm -hmm. um, and that brings me a lot of joy <laughs> so that's that's what's going on for me right now. Um, and I, I myself am learning. I, before we started recording, I was saying, I feel like in the last couple of years, I've been restarting my business every year, reinventing myself every year. And I think that's okay. I think, I think yeah. that is a sign of growth. That's a sign of development, you know? Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm learning to be, learning to, to love that process. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, it's I, just an evolution, isn't it? We all yeah. evolve. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's, it's it's that balance of learning and, and being true to ourselves. That's right. And yeah. integrating all of that. And just be open. Just be open to the evolution and, and yeah. appreciate it. You know. Yeah. Um. So, Alison, what are your what's your, what's what's the website you want people to visit you at now? Um. If you check me out at www.alison, so that's a l i s o u n dot com. Great. Yeah, I'll I'll link that in the notes as well. Nice and easy. Yeah, well, great to talk with you. I'm just going to stop the recording for now. Okay, cool. Thanks very much, George.